on the football field or in free agency is starting to get spicy. Aaron Rodgers, he could be out in Green Bay. We already know he's going on a darkness retreat, and when the light comes on, we'll see where he lands. <sighs> on the flip side, how about Derek Carr? He was officially released today. That's a nine-year NFL vet hitting the market. You never see anything like it. The New York Jets have inquired truly about both quarterbacks, but it's not just the Jets that would be interested in Carr and Rodgers. It's any team that has a quarterback need. Now the question, though, is... What quarterback would you rather have? Derek Carr, relatively problem and drama free, but not as talent rich. Aaron Rodgers, incredibly talent rich, but he's also very drama filled. Joy, who would you rather have as your quarterback? Is it Derek Carr or Aaron Rodgers? Well, are we getting married or are we having a good time? <laughs> <laughs> Because that's really the question here. And uh, unfortunately, usually when you get married, you've got to invest a little bit more. But in this case, you're going to be investing a little bit more in the guy that you're having a good time with, in Aaron Rodgers. Let me explain. Derek Carr, you just signed for money. Aaron Rodgers is going to be a deal. A deal has to be made between Aaron Rodgers, between the Packers, between whatever team takes him. There will be an exchange of assets as well. It's not just a we're going to trade Aaron Rodgers. Like, the trade means somebody is going to get something back. They're going to restructure the contract for a little bit longer time. Then you have to deal with the fact that Aaron Rodgers is a very non-committal individual. So drama and all that stuff aside, reality is he has talked about retiring multiple times. He's also 39 years old. So I think you have to consider where you are as an organization and what you're willing to give up. And if giving up those assets is actually going to help or hurt the purpose of bringing in Aaron Rodgers, meaning are you losing players that Aaron Rodgers is going to need? Because whatever we think about Aaron Rodgers as a great player, I watched Aaron Rodgers this year, and he was not the same guy. And he's 39, not the same guy. Not, D not, not Russell Wilson, not the same guy. There is a big difference. And I, and I also believe that Derek Carr is in that situation as well, mostly because of his age. Of course, Aaron Rodgers is more talented than Derek Carr. We know that. And, and if it's just the drama, if all things being equal, and I got to deal with a little ex extra drama for Aaron Rodgers, fine. He's a star. He comes with some stuff. That's what you're signing up for. But is his stuff also going to be, I'm going to show up at OTAs and work with the young wide receivers stuff? Or is it everything else that's going to inhibit them from being successful? Long story short, I'd go with Derek Carr. I love what you said about it depending on the location. Because, I mean, depending on where you are as an organization, I think there's a lot of teams where it makes more sense for Derek Carr. Carolina being one of them, like I mentioned, where you've got a first-year head coach, you've got a relatively new ownership situation, you've got a lot of younger players on the team. I don't think it makes sense to bring a 39-year-old quarterback who's going to bring TMZ and the Pat McAfee show with him. I don't think that makes sense. But if you think you're on the cusp of a championship, or let's be honest, if it's desperation time and now we're talking about we might not have jobs if we don't make a playoff push, that's where I think Aaron Rodgers makes sense. And that's why I didn't think Derek Carr's the best fit for the New York Jets because I think Aaron Rodgers is because – Really, and this, this sounds silly to say because the Jets, I, the Jets have the longest playoff drought wow. in the league, do they not? Probably up there. <laughs> but what else do they need to contend besides competent quarterback play? They got one of the best defenses in the league. They got the offensive rookie of the year. We know they can run the ball. And on top of that, Robert Sal is entering into year three. Joe Douglas is there. They've been there for a little while. They whiffed on Zach Wilson. These are the types of things that get you fired. Like if it's year three, and a quarterback you drafted in the top five is not in your plans and you're not making the playoffs, you, you know, you should feel uncomfortable in your seat. And so that is the thing that makes you say, what can get us over the top? What is more likely to get us over the top? It's the better quarterback. And, you know, Aaron Rod okay, Aaron Rodgers is 39, but if you think you're right there, it, it's, it's a lot like Tom Brady. Like, the Bucs weren't like, well, maybe Tom can get us to a Super Bowl in year five. It's like, no, this year or next year, he can help us win. And it worked out because Tom Brady's the greatest winner of all time, but Rodgers has the talent to do that with that supporting cast. That's why I think it makes sense. Here's my issue, though, Dave. I'll start with the story, and then I'll land with the answer. Um, a story that will forever stick in my mind, it was after my junior year, Joy, and we had gone to the national championship at the University of Texas my sophomore year. After my junior year, my brother went to the National Football League. I wanted to go to the National Football League. My defensive coordinator at the time, Will Muschamp, current defensive coordinator at Georgia, he came up to me and he said, just because you come back for your senior year doesn't mean you're going to get drafted higher. He was like, you got to come back for your senior year, put in all the work, go to class, stay healthy, play well, execute at a high level, and then you'll get drafted higher. Just because you come back don't mean you're going to be better. I think about that in regards to Aaron Rodgers. Just because Aaron Rodgers shows up for an organization doesn't mean he's going to be good. 
Like, this isn't a video game where you just trade for a player and all their ratings carry over and their passer rating carries over and their arm strength and their speed and their awareness and their accuracy. Like, real life is real life and Madden is Madden. Just because you trade Aaron Rodgers from the Packers to the Panthers, the Packers to the Jets, the Packers to the Saints, doesn't mean he's going to be good. He's got to put in the work. Work that we aren't accustomed to seeing him put in as it compares to the other elites putting in work. Not as it compares to the average person working 9 to 5, as it compares to Jalen Hurts, Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, Dak Prescott, amongst other elite quarterbacks in the National Football League or quarterbacks that aspire and desire to be elite. So I'm glad he caught himself there. <laughs> I'm glad he caught himself. And so, oh, I don't miss. And so when I really <laughs> think about it, I would rather have Derek Carr. Because I know Derek Carr is going to put in the work. Joyce said it before. Derek Carr has had to put in the work just to hold an organization together off the field. You know he's going to put in the work on the field. Just because you acquire Aaron Rodgers don't mean you're getting anything. And the last thing I'll say to that, Dave, is y'all say it depends on the location. The only reason I disagree is because everywhere Aaron Rodgers goes, there he is. Aaron Rodgers has to escape himself. He can't. It's not the Packers he needs to escape. He's got to escape himself. He better go sit in the dark, Dave Hellman. You better go sit in the dark for four days. That's what he has to escape. He that can't escape sound, That doesn't sound fun to you? <laughs> no. I got it. He's keeping the Packers in the dark, right? That's what he's doing. See what I did there? <laughs> I can't wait, wait, I just, There was no way we're getting out of this segment without I just, it, I, well, uh, being in the dark. My only, my only counter to that is, I hate that I'm saying this because it sounds a little crazy, but that could come in handy if you're going to New York. Like if you're the New York, if you're a New York football team, having a quarterback who's not going to be phased by everything he says being a national story. Oh, I disagree. You think he's not phased by everything he says? That that rant that I went that on about about uh, AJ and right, Juju. Let me, let me, let me like rephrase. it was a perfect transition into Aaron, who let me, let me constantly gets upset that people have a reaction to what he says. I will rephrase. You're right. That's totally fair. He's always mad about how he was interpreted. At the very least, he won't be surprised. Surprise? Yeah, he no. won't be surprised. <laughs> surprised. But that like. It's so funny how we all see things, the same exact thing, so differently, because that's why I would want Carr. Because Carr is going to throw water on the fire. He is going to take all of the criticism. He is going to absorb that. He is capable of being a leader, and he's capable of functioning and elevating a completely dysfunctional situation, which I don't think the Jets necessarily are a completely dysfunctional situation. They just need a quarterback. I think they have leadership there. Aaron, however, going to, to New York makes me nervous because however he acted in Green Bay, that's not going to be the situation in New York. Nobody's taking it easy on you in New York. Sure. Nobody's absolving you from, uh, from lying to them in New York. There's a whole other different amoeba. It's, it's, it's a living, breathing thing, New York. It's just no passes. So th th it's just not going to go the same way when it comes to that. Things have to go well the whole time. And we know that that's not what the NFL is. I just had a minor, like, heart palpitation thinking about if Aaron Rodgers was the New York Jets quarterback and they started 0-2. Like, just thinking about it gives me <laughs> anxiety. I mean, personally, I, I am here for that. <laughs> Jets fans, maybe not so much. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.